And the order of play on court number two, as you can see, China 2-0 up against uh, Chinese Taipei after the first two matches. The first men's singles, Jin Long won in two ga three games. And in the first men's doubles, it was in two games, 21-18, 21-18. And now the second men's singles is coming up, Xi Yu Qi from China against Wang Su Wei of Chinese Taipei. And here we have the All England champion, Shi Yu Qi in yellow, and his opponent from Chinese Taipei, Wang Su Wei. And they're making their way down to court number two. And one must say that uh, Chinese Taipei has really got the back to the wall now, being 2 0 down against uh, the mighty power of. China, the top seeds in this tournament. And a team that hasn't really been tested so far in their group. And today, 2-0 up after two really, really good matches in the first men's singles and the first men's doubles. Choose the color, red or black? And the head to heads between these two, Xi Yu Qi is leading 3 1. And last time they played was at the beginning of this year in India. And the profile of Xi Yu Qi, 22 years of age, 183. He's uh, ranked three in the world, but the highest he's been is actually two, and that happened on the 24th of August in 2017. But he is definitely making his mark on the world scene and uh, on the way in the tournament here. He was actually pushed by Sai Praneeth of India. Three games, winning 21-9, losing 21-15, winning 21-12 in 58 minutes in that match against India in the group stages. His opponent here, Wang Su Wei of Chinese Taipei, 23 years of age, 178, and ranked 15 in the world. The highest he's been is 10, and that happened on the 15th of February this year. His way to this match so far, he won the first two matches against Germany and uh, Hong Kong, but then yesterday against uh, Kenta Nishimoto of Japan, he lost 21-18, 21-17 in 46 minutes. So, if it's time, it's definitely time now for Wang Su Wei to show his great potential. And here we have the umpire from Hong Kong, Daniel Law. And he is helped by his uh, service judge, Stéphane Benet of France. And if anyone is in doubt, I can tell you on one of the adjacent courts here, Thailand is playing Yuba Kop against Indonesia. The World Championships for women's teams, and it's as close as it can be, 19 all in that second game. So, that's what you can hear as well, on top of everything, to play. and the people who follow this court as well.
China, represented by Xi Yuqi. Chinese Taipei to serve. Level. And one's away to start serving right. here, getting this match under the way. be able to make an impact here against the reigning All England champion from 2018 where he beat Lindan in the final in three games the 22 year old here from China was the runners up last year at the All England 2017 to Li Chong Wei of Malaysia and in 2014 he actually won the youth Olympic Games Got the gold medal. Two love. And uh, earlier this year as well, he won the Indian Open against Zhou Chenzhen, as we've just seen earlier today, where he won 21 18, 21 14. In that Indian Open Super 500. I must say he was a bit lucky to pull through in that semi-final against Iskandar Sulkanayn of Malaysia. As he was uh, down 16-12 in that third and deciding game. One two way challenges for out. A challenge and it's out. Challenge unsuccessful. And that means that the challenge One is challenge unsuccessful. Four love. So Chi Yu Chi. It's off to a good start here. Four love up. Good net play, but oh, I was just about that. But even better play by Shi Yu Chi. But uh, got that one it's back, over. but missed the second one. But look one. at this, got this first one back oh. here, but I was missing this one a little bit too late to close down the net, and he made a mistake. Yeah, indecision there, can't afford it. Straight away you're getting punished. Make up your mind, play the shot or not. Aggressive play among the way. Beautiful lift. Very, very nice lift. Playing good length here. Wang Suwei. Which means it's making it very Over. difficult for Suyuji. And then Five. the mistake is coming as what we just saw here. 3-5. And when it comes to Wang Zui, he 
he won silver at the World Junior Championship in 2013. He became winner of New Zealand Open in 2014 and he won the Dutch Open in 2016. In 17, he went to the semi-final of the Korean Open, one of the major tournaments where he lost to Jonathan Christie in two games, 21-13, 21-17. And as we just saw on the head-to-head, -head, he lost that quarter-final to Shi Yuchi in India Open, 21-13, 21-12. So that was quite a decisive win by the Chinese. away on the floor and we need to get him up to give players a short opportunity to towel down and this is where the umpire really have to be on top of it making sure that there are not too many breaks and not too long breaks as well Yeah, well anticipated. Eight, Building up quite a nice lead here, 9 4 up. Nice attack, nice body attack there. Slightly reversed as he's moving in at the net. And that's making it very, very difficult for his opponent to get it back. sure I understood but uh, maybe it was Nine, all about uh, what we just discussed uh, wasting time between Five. rallies maybe the uh, umpire was just stressing that he will not accept it so, so over. hard once away here but all in vain again that body attack by uh, Siyuchi paying off here we see that shot once again Hot 
Yeah, the idea was really good. No doubt about that. But very well played by Wang Suwei here. As you can see, that shot was really tight. And Chi Yu Chi is moving into the uh, mid -gate interval here with a lead of 11 7. Played 10 minutes. And the two coaches in to help him. Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Good attack here by Shiyuchi. It's always important to get this good start after the interval. Get on the scoreboard straight away. saved and one more time on the floor still saving it once away but this time the smash just so accurate down that line from the around the head position to the forehand side of once away but look at this great commitment trying to get everything back he knows how important it is for him to win this match because otherwise China is in tomorrow's semi-final and Chinese Taipei can travel home and prepare for the next tournament in so two years time coming up 13 8 Oh, he's pushed that long of that back line. That was a very unfortunate mistake. From the point of view of Chinese Taipei, look at that. He read it so nicely. I <laughs> can't believe that he missed it. 14-8. Awesome smash. Really very, very okay. accurate from that round the head situation. The lift to the backhand side, and then that cross court is coming. Great shot. Oh. 
but he can do it as well. It was in the perfect situation for him to do that reverse smash. Cross court from the around ahead situation. Try to have a look at this one. First one coming back. Look at the next one. Yes, perfect. Sometimes it's a very good idea not to spread your attack too much, but keep to the same side and then just follow up on it and make sure that you can finish it. Go along on the back line. 16, Good play here, making uh, full use of the width of the court. Look at this one. It's a very good combination when you play short to that backhand side first and then short to the forehand side, as mentioned so many times earlier. That front forehand corner is a problem area for almost all players. to go that cross court but he decided to slice it too much and perhaps he did hold, hurt his shoulder a little bit on that shot and he I think he's calling yeah for the referee and then for the referee to call the doctor the tournament doctor perhaps needs some spray on it let's see what's happening Yeah, asking for a doctor. And once again, referee Dennis Lee from Hong Kong on court. We're ready to continue. away wants to change his racket as well and 
but uh, I think this is where the umpire really has to think very carefully what he wants to do because uh, I think this is uh, well, getting play. very close to serious time wasting but let's see yeah good play nothing wrong with that shoulder now which is really good 13 17 and perhaps the break has got done uh, Wang Su Wei some good. So let's see whether he can catch up. Yeah, once again, the uh, famous combination. Short to the front backhand corner and second one short to the Forehand corner, backhand corner, forehand corner. Yeah, nicely disguised. It's over 14, 18. 14, 18. Once again, we saw this body attack by Shi Yuchi. Here, moving in. It's almost over by Wang Suwei, but uh, just stayed at the top of the table. 19-14, two points away from this first game. 15-19. First game point has Over. arrived. 2015. 20 game point. Very ambitious. Eight. Block shot there across by Wang Su Wei. And uh, Shi Yuchi is just keeping it very simple, keeping it going. It's not letting anything affect him. And just playing very professionally. A yeah, nice lift. But that's the beauty. Look at that shot. That cross court that's shot over. there is played to perfection. 16, 20. See this lift here, and then the angle, the steepness of that shot is just awesome. 16, 20. Good smash. 17. Wang Su Wei is definitely playing a better game today than he did yesterday against Nishimoto of Japan. He's playing faster and also much more aggressive and much sharper than what he did yesterday. But this is sometimes what you see when you're playing players that's higher ranked than you then uh, suddenly the pressure is not on you and you can play foot and fancy free and just play your shots as what we see now one after the other is coming and 20. one quality shot after the other and the gap is now closed to two points but still game points for China
Hi. And here it comes. 21-18. First game won by China. 21-18. 21-18 to Xi Yuqi of China. And here we've got the confirmation. 25 minutes, 21-18. Good smash down the line, follow up, but it's too wide. So uh, let's hear what the coaches have got to say. Yeah, that's way long of that back line. So, so far, one lock. And Chinese Taipei off to a good start. One nil up in this second game. Yeah, wonderful disguised. Drop shot there by Shi Yuqi. That was really one. very, very nicely played. Hong's away, losing his footing completely. players on the floor a few times in this rally very very good rally Three, good play one. from both players here very entertaining good badminton wonderful to watch getting up on that one
a good cross court defensive shot there. But couldn't get the last one. Well played by uh, Wang Siwei. Yeah, that's a beautiful cross defensive shot, but this one is letting him down. Cleverly played that low serve, this time serving it very wide and giving him opportunity to go in and close the net down. That was clever, good play here by Wang Siwei. Watch out for the drift as well. Pushing it out it's on the back line there. Yeah, there's a fold in the net. Yeah. I it looked like he was touching the net, but I'm not sure. I'm sitting quite far away here. No racket touched the net. Yeah, and the yes. umpire is saying that the racket touched five, the net. Five four. So it's five four for Shi Yuchi. Part three. You will have quarterfinals. Japan. Let's Chinese have a look. Taipei. Let's have a look here. We got One. it. Uh, it's a very, very, very light touch. Very, very composed, this young man, age 22. Obviously helps a lot when you have played big finals as what he has done already. Played twice at the All England, came runners-up last year and then won it this year. It's a remarkable feat for such a young player, just 22 years of age. So that's four points in a row from 3 4 down to 7 4. aggressive today than yesterday Six, seven. and this is one of the first pushes he has won from that front court he's pushing it into that deep forehand corner
over. Seven, so it's eight. definitely not over yet. Seven eight. It is interesting though that a lot of players are using that lift Seven. from the front for uh, backhand corner as we see here to the round ahead position for most players the right-handed ones and you so often see that attack down the line or attack from that around the hip situation and this is where most players have their strongest attack from so it's amazing that you keep playing it to that favorite position there and put yourself into trouble. Not a lot of players are using the variety of lifting down to the forehand side and uh, see what the opponent can do from that side. again this time from the backhand cross the court uh, to the uh, round ahead situation and then the big power Eight. smash is coming straight Eight. away from a situation where you can really generate a lot of pace and power something you've been working on since you were seven eight years old so nine ten it is time into the interval 11-9 in the first game it was 11-7 and we have played so far 37 minutes Oh, 11-9. See you, G. Getting us on the way again. Well, yeah, good cross court smash. Try to have a look at it from a different angle here. Yeah, good play. Sometimes I wonder so whether over. it pays off to Ten, dive that much 12. on the court because uh, the courts are obviously getting slippery from it, Two. and uh, sometimes you can't really uh, clean them well enough, so they kind of remain a little bit slippery the whole time. And of course, uh, that's not ideal when you want to play. Ten, twelve. 
Obviously happening usually later in the day, in the evenings, when uh, there's been play on the whole day and uh, the hall is heating up a bit more and uh, it's, it's making uh, the cleaning of the mats a little bit more tricky. So last night when uh, Lee Jung Wei and Victor Axelsen was playing, that uh, despite the fact that it was kind of love all or two all in the first game, it was kind of tricky to get the, the court completely non-slippery. So, Xi Yu Chi is challenging. And that is right on the line, which means it's in. And the challenge is unsuccessful, as we saw. So, so 11-13. Play. And so often, once again, we see that cross-court attack from Si Yuchi. From the around-the-head situation on the backhand side. And a good attack on the forehand side of Si Yuchi. That was really well played by uh, Wang Su Wei. This attack here, really well placed. 12-14. And once again, we see the major attack being applied from the uh, backhand side. And here we are. So Chen Chen helping, coaching. His teammate. chance anyway he was crossing the center of the court right into the forehand of his opponent try to look at this he was waiting for it even if it was over it should have been an easy kill Pressure on that front forehand corner on more than two or three occasions in that rally, but it did not pay off. One two ways. He's standing his ground. And if you're wondering 
Thailand just won the first game, 22-20, in the second women's doubles, and that's the cheer you heard. Closer and closer, still having a few points margin, and now it's just down to one. So it's over. 16, 17. follow-up here by Wang Su Wei and then that reverse kill I'll just have a look at this reverse like that straight down the line complete control on that shot and there was a straight winner so three points in a row here for Chinese 17. Taipei, and now 18-17 up, and still hanging in there. And that's four points in a row, 19-17. that one very very early chose not to punch it to the center of the court as what so he's done so many times 18, but this follow-up try to look at how he's blocking this one this one here beautiful play very good variation close here 1819 uh, it's all about control of the net this time it was Shi Yuchi who won it giving China not only match round in this match but also could be the winning point for the whole tie and China will win 3-0 against Chinese Taipei 2019 the pressure's on and here it 
done is 21-19. And the confirmation here in the second men's singles, 21-18, 21-19 in 50 minutes. Shi Yu Qi against Wang Mass Su Wei. China. 21, and China has won 21, this tie 3 0. And here we got the match point. And look at the coaches at the back. And of course, the celebration from Shi Yu Qi. And here we have the highlights coming up. And as I mentioned earlier, China is through to the semi-finals tomorrow. We still don't know who they're going to play. That will be decided later in the day. And here we have the results, 3-0 for China. Chen Long winning 21-18, 10-21, 21-14 against Zhou Chen Chen. Then the first men's doubles, Liu and Chang Nang winning 21-18, 21-18 against Li and Li. And then the final match, the second men's singles, as we just witnessed, Shi Yu Qi winning 21-18, 21-19 against Wang Su Wei of Chinese Taipei. So here we have the confirmation of this uh, afternoon. And uh, as you can see, in the morning, Korea beat Canada 3-1. So, I, I do hope that you have enjoyed this uh, afternoon with us. Please do join my colleagues at 7 o'clock for more action from the Total BWF Thomas and Uber Cup finals here in Bangkok. So, from myself, Morten Frost and the rest of the crew, bye for now. Yeah. <laughs>